What's up everyone? I am Jamie with 3 littlegoatscom If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today we are making one of my favorite soaps to make. It's one of the very few soaps that I make every single year just with a little bit of variation and that is peppermint hot cocoa soap. It's one of my best sellers at the farmer's market and I just love the scent of it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright y'all, so let's get ready to make some soap. Today I am using some Volcano Fragrance Oil from Crafter's Choice. I absolutely love this smell. It smells amazing. And for colors, I'm going to be using black. This is just activated charcoal with a little bit of black oxide in it. And then for red, oh, oh I'm using a red color. I know that much. Really red from Nurture Soap with just a little bit of Trial by Fire. And for the orange, I don't know what it is. When we moved, a lot of my stuff got misplaced. The labels got ripped off and so forth. So I'm using this orange. Don't ask me what it is. But any orange would pretty much do. And then for the yellow, I'm using a little bit of Nature or Nurture Soap Full Throttle Neon Yellow. And then a little bit of the yellow Pet Canary from Crafter's Choice. So that's what I'm using for those colors. Nothing super extravagant, but in my oils I've got my goat milk powder, my beer powder, and my kaolin clay. I have a video coming, it should be out by now, about my goat milk powder, where I get it, where you can get it, how I make, I make my own, but not everyone has that ability. So I have a whole video explaining goat milk powder. My oils are at 88. My lye water solution is at 90, 95. We're a little bit warm. Hopefully everything will go as planned. First thing we're gonna do is mix in our powders. That way we don't get any lumps or clumps. All right, and then we're gonna pour in our lye water solution and bring this to a very light trace. Going to majority of my batter is going to be black, so I'm going to leave it in here, and then we're just going to split off some for our colors. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put our black in here. I'm trying not to make a gigantic mess with it. If you've never used activated charcoal. It is such a mess. Try it always, always add it to oil in order to work with it or else it just gets everywhere. So let's give these a quick mix by hand just to see what we're working with. See if I need to add anything. I don't know. I would definitely say I am liking those colors. Now I know the black's not gonna get super, super, super black. Cause I didn't put a whole lot of black oxide in. But I am happy with that. As I splatter it everywhere. All right, so next comes the stressful part. I'm gonna get my mold ready. This, I believe this one plays nicely in cold process soap. We'll see. Oh, that smells so good though. Oh my gosh. Oh, give this a swirl. So far so good. so good. I always love it when a fragrance oil plays nicely, especially when you're working with a bunch of colors. Now, don't get me wrong, I have come across some that the reviews say, yes, plays nicely in cold process, and the next thing you know, everything is just a big clumpy mess. That's kind of how it is. You just gotta go with the flow though. Expect the unexpected. All right. These are a little bit 
too thin for what I want to do, so I'm just going to give these all a quick stick blend. Alright, so I'm going to let these thicken up just a little bit more, and then we'll be back. Alright, so they thickened up just a smidgen. I don't want them super thick that they clap into the mold. I want them to still be pourable. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of this black in. A little bit of orange. And I'm just going to just go through and alternate until everything is in the mold. Far, so good. I love when things play nicely. It doesn't always happen, but sometimes you luck out. So I'm just going to scrape out the rest of my containers in. I'm just taking some of this little bit of mica that's left in these little cups and I'm just going to splatter them around. No point in this little bit going to waste, you know? gonna give this a spritz down real quick and then I am going to oven process this I oven process all of my soaps if you're new here and you don't know what that is I will link a video down below on how and why I oven process as well as a blog post and I'll see you guys on the best day cutting day all right y'all so it is the best time of soap making and it is time to cut these bars open I am so excited to see what this looks like Hopefully it turns out. We will see. Ooh, I like the way that end cut off. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Ready? Oh my goodness. Look at that. Would you look at that? Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I love how these turned out. I love when things turn out better than expected. You know, sometimes you just, you don't know about the colors and the design and the type of pour you did and you're just second guessing yourself and then you cut the bar open and it's gorgeous. So I am, I am very excited. I absolutely love it. Ah, oh, and it smells so good. All right. So that is this week's bar and I will see you guys in the outro. Alright y'all, so that is what I've got for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really does help. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We put out new videos every single week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!